in a normal context I've talked about for years is that when change occurs is that things will feel like they're getting worse. Like this is what it, it, it sort of gives people permission and leaders permission to say like, people are not going to like it at first. Some will, but a lot won't. And then eventually it'll start to get better. You know, like that we'll, we'll get used to things, we'll get used to the new technology. Cause I think it's been interesting right now to think you know, what I had never modeled before is a time where we don't know where the bottom of this is. Like I almost draw it like a, like a dotted line. Cause I don't even know if people perceive it as a bottom, but there's so much uncertainty, like on university campuses, like universities are struggling right now. Like it's yeah. just like everybody else. And so people, what parents are asking is what is the fall going to look like? Well, they, they can't know yet. You know what I mean? And so, so this has been an interesting thing, first of all, but one of the things that related to that, that I've seen over and over again with leaders and I've experienced it myself is that, um, I talk about, you know, I've talked to for years about our research on the number one predictors of a leader's capacity to compose themselves under pressure, to maintain a sense of themselves and stay connected to others in real time. And, uh, and that the, what we found was that the, there were two, fun, two of the most powerful variables. One was sense of purpose. So knowing why they're in it. And the other one was focusing on potential. So seeing, seeing positive potential outcomes when everybody else just sees barriers and on the, on the purpose side, you know, it's like, um, you know, Simon Sinek does this Ted talk and purpose becomes really popular, but for years, even back to my original research in aerospace with leaders there, um, purpose was the most powerful predictor of all kinds of organizational outcomes. Yeah. And, um, and what I, what's been interesting is, is, uh, I've talked a lot, you know, leaders, if anyone knows me for anything, it's the word conviction, trying to build up conviction in people that don't have it. And, uh, and the word conviction, I hope I'm not going too deep, Brandon. You can just no, keep going. I'm, I'm tracking you. I'm um, with you. Is that if, if anything, what, what this time, what we've seen happen in the leaders we're working with is that it's been an exposure of their roots.